Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five and Eats and it is Fast Food Fridays here on Five and Eats, which means that every Friday at 11 p.m. Central, you can tune in and find a new fast food review from us. And today we have got a new one from Wendy's. This is the Ghost Pepper Ranch Chicken Sandwich. Our legendary spicy chicken filet, but now a whole lot hotter with three layers of ghost pepper heat, including ghost pepper seasoned fried onions, ghost pepper American cheese, and ghost pepper ranch lettuce and tomatoes. Don't be chicken, eat it. That's a lot. It is a lot. Now, this is $6.89 at our local Wendy's. Uh, not during surge pricing, so I don't know if that makes a difference, but this is standard, you know, for their for their price range. Not bad. Look, the Wendy spicy chicken, I think, is the OG. Yes. It is the best. It's really freaking good. Yes. Now they're taking it to the next level with ghost pepper, which we've done a few of theirs before. Yes. And I actually think it's not bad. It's they, not. It's not insanely spicy. It's it's definitely still enjoyable and edible. Yeah. Now I personally love the spicy Asiago Ranch Bacon Club. And I feel like this is yeah. kind of like that, but without the bacon and just hotter. You know? I agree, yeah. So I'm hoping I'm gonna love it. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review over day grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Now what do you think about the bun? I mean, the bun looks like their standard yeah. um, burger bun. It's not it's, one of those pretzel ones or anything. This thing is very saucy. It's very saucy. It smells slightly spicy, but it doesn't smell like super hot or anything. You can smell anything. the onions. Yes, definitely. And I love that they have the crispy onions. I like a little texture variation there. Me, eh. Yeah. Let's go for it. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back. Our rating system, thumbs up by the end, thumbs down by the not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. Wendy's has really good chicken sandwiches. Before the break, you mentioned the Asiago Ranch. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome one. And you can get that spicy. Yeah. This is pretty much that, except with ghost pepper. And I think it fails. Number one reason is the ghost pepper ranch. Ranch is like, I think America's favorite condiment. Americans love it, right? Yeah. It's really good. In ghost pepper version, I think it tastes nothing like ranch. Mm. If you were to give this to me and not tell me what it is, I never would have guessed this is ranch. Mm. I think it's actually lacking um, flavor. Mm. Just not good. I think it actually hurts the the sandwich because the chicken is good. The ghost pepper onions are good. Mm -hmm. The cheese is good. Just the ranch. I think the ranch really killed mm -hmm. it because it was so freaking bland. It's really a shame because there was a lot of ranch on there. And if you know me, you know I love it saucy. Thumbs down. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending a super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. So if you were, because this is America, the land of options and choices, would you give it a thumbs up if you were to be able to have just regular ranch on it and not the, the ghost pepper ranch? Maybe. Interesting. All right, for me, this one is going to be a thumbs up. I enjoyed this. Now, with that being said, I would not order this like all the time, but once in a while I would get this just to mix it up because usually my Wendy's order is gonna be the Baconator or the Asiago Ranch Chicken Club. Is depending. it because it's very spicy? It's because it's very spicy. Like I, I am not the type of person that has to have spicy on every single meal that I have. So for me, something like this where it's like spicy, 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 it's, taxing like like i need to give my mouth a little bit of a break after the intense you know heat of it so i wouldn't get it all the time but i would definitely have it in the rotation because i really love the little crispy onion things on there you put a crispy onion thing on a burger and i am all about it because i really like having that that difference in texture i like having like uh, look, I'll put chips on a burger. I'll put those little crispy onions on a burger. I'll put fries on a burger. I like having something different like that. So this I think is really good. Now you're right about the ranch. I would still get it on there. However, it's not a ranch sauce. This to me, like if I was just eating it, not knowing what was on there, I would assume it's just a 
creamy ghost pepper sauce. It resembles nothing like ranch in terms of flavor. It really hurts it. I, you know, I don't feel like it hurts it, but I do feel like having regular ranch on it would dial back the heat a little bit and let you taste other things. If you like spicy food and you like a spicy sandwich, I think this is definitely worth giving it a try. As always, their chicken is great. I don't like lettuce or tomato on my things, but I mean, it's good quality. There's nothing wrong with it. The cheese was good. <laughs> like, look, I mean, it was a good looking piece of lettuce. It's fine. It's not a wilty like iceberg lettuce, you know, piece. It is what it is. But I think overall the components of this are good and I'm glad that they went with the regular bun instead of a fancy specialty bun. Yes, I agree. Yes. That's my biggest gripe with Wendy's. They love the brioche bun or the pretzel bun. Yeah. Stop it. Just stop it. Yes. To sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.